I'm not out cheating. I'm listening to the raw hype. What it do, baby? You see me, bro. I'm just from the Remotely I'm speaking, it is I, man. your boy Rebel. It's your boy Black Frog, aka Hype Man. And this is indeed the raw hype, baby. You know the Celtics Rebel already playing, playing, bro. Huh? The Celtics already playing. Yeah, I know the Celtics game is seven thirty. The Lakers game is ten. Now let me get it in. I win. What's up, man? You coming through the block this weekend or what, man? You know I am, boy, young traveler. Niggas be saying things, but they don't be doing things. Man. Young traveler, <laughs> man. No, me and my family had the biggest um, fail ever. <laughs> we had this whole plan and set up to go Canada, take the whole family to Canada and shit for July. I kind of vaguely remember this. Yep. And then... uh. One, there's a massive delay on passports, and all of us need. You ain't got a passport. I need it renewed. That Me too, just bro. <laughs> I need my shit renewed too, man. Uh, and then, uh, and then my lady, she fucking she, nobody else has that. So it's like me. I got mine. My father got his. My sister got hers. And then like three other people needed theirs renewed, and then uh, three other people needed theirs bought, and it's a massive delay on. What you call it? On oh, passport. So we're like, man, we can't go book a flight if we can't even get in. On oh, God, bro. You know? And then I was like, damn, are they gonna let me cross the border? And then they was like, nigga, uh, what the fuck? Who you think you are? They're like, what do you think you didn't did? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, hey, you never know, man. Nigga got a past. Bro, you don't have a past like that, bro. You're not a terrorist. <laughs> and, and everybody said the same thing. They was like, yo, you ain't got that kind of a past. I swear. And they got in a fight in middle but, school. But uh, I said all that to say, instead of going uh, to fucking Canada, we pulling up to Orlando, going to SeaWorld, nigga. That's <laughs> nigga went from going to Toronto bro. to the SeaWorld. See, man, I don't think I can ever go to SeaWorld, man. We got kids with us, man. And SeaWorld about to man. die. Apparently, uh, they like shutting down SeaWorld and shit. Because oh, for real? Because the... people mad about the animals being trapped? Yep. Yo, this I... is something I be wondering about pet owners, bro. Why don't pet owners like ever admit like that they just captured an animal and they won't let them go? <laughs> 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 like, why do they never admit this, bro? Like, what going to be a hostage and shit? I was literally having a conversation about a dog one time. I was like, yo, this dog is a virgin that never been around other dogs. How do you know this dog don't want to live a life with dogs? Like, how do you, how do you know? Dogs you select at a park. Like, like for park. real. Motherfucker be like, this dog has a good life. Like, this dog ain't been around another dog in 15 years. <laughs> How do you know this dog has a good this life? Because he gets the a... bathroom and the toilet and shit. <laughs> this dog has a good life. Like you don't know what the fuck he want to be doing. <laughs> Nigga get, got a good life because you let him get in the bed and shit. <laughs> You don't know what that nigga be wanting to do. <laughs> exactly. You have no idea what that dog want to be doing. Man, that is funny. Why don't y'all admit y'all stole that damn For animal? real, man. The I saw a nigga walking a raccoon the other day with a leash around his <laughs> neck and everything, yo. Like, for walk. real. Who want to live that like one hamster and shit? That nigga ain't seen another hamster since motherfucker the day he was born. This is absurd. Nigga ain't seen a hamster but, since he came out one. Like, no bullshit. But honestly, I honestly think that's crazy. Because we're just all under the assumption that they have better lives. Go in the room. I love you. <laughs> wow. Like, so she's sitting there and she's trying to get my attention. Like, what you want? She's like, croissant. <laughs> like, yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with you, bro. <laughs> come on, man. At least come interrupt the show or something. You're going to sit behind me trying to wave me down. I'll give you my attention. You say, croissant? She ain't even asking for a croissant. <laughs> you ever seen that, uh, that, that uh, little gif or meme of the dude? And the person scared him, and the motherfucker said, "Ah, you made me drop my croissant." Uh, See, no. you don't even know what I'm talking about, and it's no. such a fucking. Hey, Wes, joke in here, bro. <laughs> Wes, what Wes you doing in here, bro? Where you at, Wes? He right muted, so I... right oh, Wes, what's up? Hey, Wes, I got a question, baby. That nigga go. <laughs> that nigga go merge uh, shows. <laughs> I just want to know, man. Just yeah, I'm gonna ask this one quick question: Who's gonna win the NBA Finals, and who's gonna play in the finals? 
Ah, uh, it's a tough question as a Sixers fan. See, that's what I'm telling him, man. He asked me about the Lakers. Man, don't tell man. me about your fandom, bro. Tell me who's going, man. I want to say the Celtics. Ugh. And who are they going to play? And unfortunately, probably Denver. Mmm, interesting. And who wins? <laughs> Celtics. Interesting. You just came on this day to be disgusting, Wes. That's like you just said a bunch of disgusting things. That's, that's a good Denver guess. Gonna, the Denver gonna beat the Suns, and then I think beat... whoever wins, I think whoever wins the six six or Celtics series is probably gonna win the NBA championship. So you just think the mm. West is just pieces of shit? Apparently, mm. that's West interesting. Is, that's that's a good take. Isn't as deep as it used to be, and we've dominated the Nuggets every time we played them this year. Yeah, but mm. you didn't say y'all. You said the Celtics. I said, I believe whoever wins the Celtics Sixers series. Yeah, you did say that afterward. You did say that. That's not a crazy take. It's a safe take, too. I mean, yeah. The number I, one seed in the West I got the, the number one seed in the East. <laughs> or no, number two. Yeah. Bucks was number two, right? Yeah, there was number two. Bucks was number one. I got the Suns beating the Celtics, man. I mean, being down 2-0 is a tall ask. They got to go to Phoenix. Tall. They, 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 all they did was serve home court. That's all they did. Bro, didn't, the, didn't the Suns have a 2-0 lead against the Bucks in that playoff series and, and lost four straight? Did they have KD? They did not have KD. <laughs> <laughs> KD going to do it, bro. KD going to do it. KD going to do it. All right, Wes, get the hell out of here, man. We ain't talking about sports no more, man. Appreciate you, Wes. Wes well, kept it too real, man. He, uh, he, those are good guesses. Like you said, but there was a fanboy. Uh, not fanboy. Those not really. Those easy. are safe for Those are easy. Those yeah. are easy. Yeah, those aren't crazy. I'm sorry. Uh, but we're not going to get into sports. We go, uh, nah, we're not. If you want to hear more sports, make sure y'all tune in to... The Black Freckles Sports Show, hosted you by should. Hype Cole. And you can find that anywhere <laughs> you find this. <laughs> Did you find it? <laughs> Shit, we on our way. We can put it on the same feed, damn near, until you get your bearings right and put it where it's supposed to be. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll figure it out. Oh, patreon.com yeah. backslash the raw hype. Go on over there. And yeah, man. You're on your what are we talking man. about now? Um, people are kidnapping dogs and shit. <laughs> I feel like we're right somewhere. <laughs> uh, you wasn't talking about your old lady being mean, talking about croissants and memes and oh, shit. Oh, yeah. See, that's what happened. She yeah, messed it up. I ain't want to bring it back up, man. I ain't want to bring it back up. Let's go into topics, man. Let's get this thing done like how we're supposed to get this Oh, done. man. <laughs> I forgot we even had topics, even though we've consistently uh, had topics. Put Absolutely, in the topics man. room. So, shout out to the Raw Hype. Oh, my God. I remember to a topic. Anywhere, <laughs> listening to this anywhere, give us a review and leave a comment. Apparently, that helps these things. I didn't look in the topic room, but I'm going to bring up this topic. Go, Have go. you ever heard of incels? That's the first thing I just looked at, which is... <laughs> yo, I just heard about these, yo. Have y'all heard about these, yo? Like, apparently, incels are like a hate group, and they're a hate group towards women. And why they hate women is because they don't be getting no pussy. <laughs> And I was like, yo. An when incel I... is a member of an online subculture of people whom define themselves as unable to get romantic or sexual partner despite desiring one. Bruh. So niggas want bitches, can't get bitches, and then they join a, a subculture. <laughs> as a nigga. The who he has man bagged, no pussy getters. Has bagged my fair share of bitches in my life. Hmm. I do know the opposite end of the spectrum. So when I heard about this, I was shocked, but it wasn't that crazy to me because I started seeing statistics and I've gone to a place of no return that knows how much people don't get pussy. Like I've gone to a place you couldn't imagine. (laughs) But it's, 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 it's through being in places like that that makes me realize the majority of people who don't get pussy and can't get yes. women and yes. the lengths that they will be yes. willing to, to go to yes. like if So the fact that now they have a name called incels, it makes so much sense to me yes. because it's this so stand for involuntarily celibate. Oh, that's hard. 
I know that's dope, though, right? <laughs> I like that. that is a dope ass little name, though. But honestly, yeah, bro, like what I'm being when I don't want to give my lady none, I feel like I'm being involuntary. Uh, oh no, sorry, I'm being voluntarily. Yeah, you voluntary, nigga. These <laughs> nigga ain't involuntary. <laughs> hey, bitches, you trying to fuck? Hell no. Ooh, I don't agree. <laughs> I was in the bus and cabin somebody. Ass. I was I like, yo, in a chat group on your ass, bro. Them niggas be in a chat group talking to each other, bro. And them niggas don't even be trying to get no hoes, bro. They be in there like, like it's like a uh, like a underlying dark joke all the time about like killing bitches and shit. Oh, so I'm they- like, bro. Yeah. They be like, yeah. like them niggas like a, a rip the head off a doll and say, "See, this is what you should do to those bitches." And niggas like laugh, like, "Ah, you're so crazy, Richard." And then every now, and then every now and then, one of these niggas do something crazy. I was like, "This is unbelievable to me." Like, hey, I found out this shit existed like in 2023, like within the last 30 days. I was like, "Damn." Please don't include my don't miss you use my laugh for an incel laugh. I wasn't doing that. I was laughing at what this gentleman here was saying. But I didn't realize it until you sent it in the room as a topic. And I was like, I've never heard that word before. So I looked never. up the day. I know. I, I went on Twitter and I saw two people post the word incel. I was like, yo, Hype sent me something about this. <laughs> and I went and I looked and I saw what it was. And clearly I, I must have some type of illiteracy because while reading it, I was still a bit confused because I didn't read that definition. But then right. when you told me more of what it was, I was like, yo, wait, yes, what? Yes, bro. Yes. That's I, I couldn't the, believe the it. Ready. But you want to know something I don't even want to say, but I'm going to just go ahead and say it. You might punch your card to the incel room right now, depending on what you say. A lot of this is bitches' fault, bro. <laughs> 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 A lot of this. Like, I'm oh. sorry, bro. I am sorry, bro. Oh like, a lot of this is bitches' fault, bro. Mm. Like... I, it, you know me, man. I like to be the voice of reason a lot of times. You are Listen, correct if you ask I, me. I heard a voice memo that wasn't for my ears today mm. of a woman. Mm. And the woman was saying how some man offered to be her sugar daddy, right? Mm. And then she started saying, well, I led him on and he started giving me big tips and then he started doing this and he started doing this and he started doing this, right? Mm. And then she was like... um, but then out of the blue, his wife texts me. Oh, shit. Right? <laughs> and she was like, now, nah, I never slept with this guy. I was leading him on. I never did this. I never did that. You know what I'm saying? She was like, mm. so I was just leading him on. But his wife texts me, you know? And then she's like, and now I'm thinking, like, should I talk to his wife? Right? And I'm like, wow, this is like the worst person ever. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> who would lead a man on? And then when the nigga get caught just giving you money for nothing, you tell his wife what's going on. It's like you're the worst person ever. Like, yeah. like, why are you doing these things to me? That motherfucker you know? call and be like, "Hello, yeah, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> right. What if did you I didn't ever know, do to you? <laughs> if you don't want to fuck with a nigga, at least don't ruin my marriage. <laughs> like, why are you doing this?" And then it just made me say, like, the fact that you even debating this and you not thinking, like, on the cool, this dude, in a sense, is really the victim. You feel what I'm saying? And he really the victim because you led him on. So I'm not saying, like, uh, like, do what you want. If it's your bread, do what you want. But if you leading him on to make him think he finna get something out of it and then it end up where he get divorced and he ain't even get the fuck, like, that's a killable (laughs) thing to me. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Incels, we're here. We're here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, (laughs) man. That's a killable thing to me, man. Hey, I'm going to name the show Incel. Might as well. (laughs) (laughs) So it'd be like, it'd be like, like, I'm not excusing nobody's behavior, bro. But that's the kind of shit to where you can grow to like, be like, yo, I hate these bitches, yo. And then on top of that, it's different when That's men hate example, something man. opposed to when women hate something because men are crazy and they'll get violent okay. when they hate something. Because that's all you they don't know how to deal with their emotions. So they go straight yes. to, well, I kill a motherfucker because I know right. how to do that. So it's not a fun, it's not a game that should be played with certain men. You know, and again, I'm not excusing people's behavior, but there's some games we can avoid. Like the story I just told, that's an avoidable tip. Man, because as you said in the memo, she said, I am leading him on. Like, I ain't finna no do nothing with this. Bob. So it's like, no you are fully... It's like, I got an old man doing. that I'm loyal to. 
See, well, that's clearly untrue. That part of the yeah, song. That's clearly <laughs> untrue. But we won't get into that. We won't get into that. So you got a man and you're leading on another man and accepting money from this other man with no intentions of doing anything progressive with this other man. And, and then when the shit hit the fan, you on some like, I tell you what happened. I didn't. It's not me. Uh, Don't be mad. Like that. You at least gotta hold my secrets, man. In cell, might as might well. as well, man. Because <laughs> might as well, because, bro. So if if that story was in the in cell story, I don't think none of them motherfuckers could like. You can't really disagree with that. Like if that nigga after he sent that, he sent the picture of him taking a doll and ripping the head <laughs> off the doll. <laughs> Because, man, because... I'd be like, she didn't do you dirty, Richard. Like, for real, bro. You're not treating people properly, man. What does he get out of this situation? I'm out of money. I'm out of my love. I'm out of my family. I'm not in you. I get nothing. Nothing. And what did he... But see, so I'm saying, so back to his... You were saying not um, taking responsibility from anybody. What he was doing was, I would assume, testing the waters. Right? So you can say he was malicious with his intent but he didn't but at least do he was anything honest with yet. it he was honest mm-hmm. with his intent you know but we still stuck at intent at this point she the only one that done something you Facts. made me believe there's a chance you took no my money no doubt and you weren't unaware that you were making me because you're telling your friends yeah i let him on that, it's not like you were just being nice and I was the crazy one for thinking yep. it. You know what I'm but saying? More of it and and that, that, you that'd be my point. It's like some people play the type of games where somebody might get hurt. Agreed. You know? So it's like, <laughs> Agreed. you know, like, so if you... See, t- if, when your species... Man, I hate that shit, man. I hate when weird truth. niggas have grounds to stand on sometimes. No doubt. So no you doubt. gotta sound like a yes. fucking weirdo for fucking because with a weirdo. It is not crazy for me to see how y'all got there. Fuck and also, no. it's not crazy for me to see how y'all don't never get no pussy. Mm. Women, man, me and you started breaking this down a while ago when they were saying, like, uh, what was it? 20% mm. of the men fuck 80% of the women. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why motherfuckers be like, oh, he cheating, he cheating, he cheating, he cheating. And it's because it's only a few niggas fucking any of the bitches. Come on now. Like, women are so bunch. out of control. They'll wear the fuck a married nigga that they think dope over an available nigga that'll do anything for some pussy. <laughs> like, damn. And part of it is, again, back to it being women's fault, you prove to me that he's worth it. Like, the way yes. you talk about that nigga, how he be fucking and what he yes. do for you. Like, I want somebody to do that for me. But that's really like, like nigga. This stranger yeah. doing, I can go to a nigga I know is no doing doubt. it. <laughs> They're like, nigga, uh, step your Rhea's game up. Nigga, you ain't got no... <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is happening, bro? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? This nigga with four or five girlfriends and shit. And then you telling me... But I, like I said, when I went into the, well, the... Really how I went into the depths of the mind of the virgin is I read a lot of OnlyFans messages that were to a woman in my lifetime. And then I was just like, yo, these niggas, like, they be, like, in love with a bitch on here. Mm-hmm. Like, that be that only interaction with a bitch. Like, they talk to her like they not paying her. I'm like, yo, this is a whole new world for me. I'm like, yo, I can't give you $500. Like, if I give you $500, you got to fuck me. Like, (laughs) I'm just saying bare minimum. I'm saying bare minimum. I can't let you hold 500 on some you bad or I enjoy talking to you. Like, hell no, man. Like, no, no, bro. No, bro. And I'm telling you, to me, that's niggas that's not fucking no bitches in real life, bro. And that's how that is bred. Not all of them. Some of them just addicted to sex and, b- and bad bitches. But some of them, this is their only interaction with a bitch. And my whole thing is, y'all niggas so crazy that y'all want to fuck a bad bitch. <laughs> that nigga want his first game to be in the finals. <laughs> like, nigga, I'm 33, nigga. I want to fuck any bitch that's willing to fuck me. Okay, for free. <laughs> for free. <laughs> but then I'm about to say, oh, well, up to five hundred dollars max <laughs> for free, <laughs> and up to five hundred dollars max. God damn it, for real, man. I'm it's like, what are we doing? Right. And that be my thing with niggas who don't get hoes. You be wanting the baddest bitch. I'm like, how you so confident that you think you should get the baddest bitch, but you not confident enough to fuck any, any bitches? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
yeah, this before, but if I was gonna do it, I would want the best there possibly is. Uh, at least for Rihanna, if I can't have that, I'm gonna make a hate group. God damn it! Like <laughs> I don't understand it. I don't. I've always <laughs> said I'll fuck a five before I chase a ten any day. Ooh, that's any just, day. That's a smart mathematics, baby. Any day. Any day. <laughs> any day. This but, five said, hey, you gonna come over? You ain't never fucked me before this new pussy. You gonna come over and get this new pussy? And then the 10 say, oh, uh, yeah, if I go out with you, you definitely not gonna fuck. I'm not gonna sit over there and think, man, I bet I can talk in the fuck it. I'll be like, man, I'm gonna just go to this bitch house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know me. You know kid. I'm not lying. You know I'm not lying. I did I that. I'd be like, yeah, you know I'm not lying. I'd be like, hey, I'm going over to bitch house and fucking. I ain't finna go out with you, spend my money. I don't want to do that anyway. And nigga you're not leave. fucking now. Nah. I don't care if you're bad. $500 less with a blue balls, nigga. No thanks. I Hell no. Nah. I can't do that. I'd rather nah, fucking we can, smirk, we can, nigga. Yeah, we can FaceTime and balls shit. As if a bitch got blue lips, nigga. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, we can FaceTime and really shit. Think. But we ain't hanging out. But we what you said out. earlier is the answer. You said, I don't understand it. It's not the mind that we possess. So the outcome of that mind is something we just can't understand or fathom. You dig? Because like I said, not to sound like anything that I may sound like, the task is not is the least bit difficult. So Yes. For, like so, I, you know, I could be faithful. I could choose to not have sex. I could do all of these things. But if I am hard up for sex on some I really can't get sex, my st- my standards are just going to plummet. I don't understand it. That's why I say I don't understand it. I don't understand no, it. I don't understand. But this is what I'm saying. You, you are aware that you have an option and your option has range. Right. These yeah. niggas got nothing. I don't see why though, bro. But they like, should But I can easily. <laughs> but they so lame. That they put themselves in a position, or they put themselves in a chat group <laughs> that makes it to where they present. And you around these other niggas left. that's like this, like you can't do that. You need to hang around niggas that's bagging bitches. Exactly. If you want to change your fucking outcome, you got to change who you hanging uh, with. Niggas man. who bag bitches can be on some like, hey, uh, I want you to fuck with my homeboy tonight, and they'll be like, all right. Niggas, niggas that ain't getting no bitches. bitches Niggas who bag bitches got bitches that are fuck they homeboy who ain't never fuck bitches before. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> and the girls will be happy. Like, you know, bro, like for real. For you're real. 35. You ain't never. No bullshit. Come here, let me give you some of this pussy. I'm trying to tell you, bro. You can't hang around other niggas like that, man. <laughs> you, can't <laughs> hang around other, you can't hang around other niggas with you the can. disease. You gotta hang around niggas who got the cure. <laughs> no bullshit. No bullshit, niggas. Somebody that got the cure. That's What's the cure? I'm finna just walk up to the Mahomes and start talking to them. <laughs> That's the cure, nigga. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> I'm finna just walk up to the Mahomes and say, what's up? Them ni- Niggas who don't get bitches don't understand how easy it is to get bitches because they think getting bitches is very hard, so they make it harder than it actually is. Women are as obsessed and as scared of men as men are of women. Yes. They are. Yes. So I have literally... Women w- Go ahead. I have had so many situations where somebody would be like on some I bend over backwards to get you to fuck with me type of shit, like how men be for a woman. You, you can make it the other way around and you don't have to be attracted. I feel like I was laughing at myself the other day. I was driving around. I was high and shit. Mm-hmm. And I said, do I be fooling myself when I say that I don't bag bitches and I'm not attractive like that? I was like, am I just being a dick? Like, am I actually attractive? What and I don't think humble. I, I don't I think maybe I am being humble, but am I also being a dick by saying, man, I don't even look good and I be bagging them hoes and then I say that's a one of them incel niggas and they're like, You're six foot six, you're this, you're that, you're that, you're this and I'm just like, All right, you got me. You feel me? But I <laughs> I know why I, they fuck on me. I be feeling like I'm not no super attractive nigga and I get women off of how I am. And yeah, to me, man. you can change that if you stop hanging around niggas like that, man. Listen, let me tell you something, man. Again. Anybody who thinks you gotta look good to get women don't get women. No doubt. I don't believe you that you gotta look good to get women, bro. You can, I don't. You can look the opposite of good and still. No get bullshit. Women, which no goes bullshit. back to my point, sadly, of how easy it is to it's get easy. women. It's, it's easy. very easy. <laughs> it's easy. I've said it's this easy. my whole life. I mean, so ever since the third grade when I went to Canada and apparently I went to Canada and in Canada it's very cold, so your body naturally puts on weight. Uh, mm-hmm. to help you survive. 
And I mm-hmm. came back and just never took the weight off. I've been carrying that motherfucker for mm. years. Sound like a very and, womanly excuse, but go on. No, that was the explanation that I got, man. Don't fat shame me on the fucking platform, man. No problem, sis. Uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> I didn't even hear what he said. See, you did some trickery. Something came on the screen, took my attention I don't know away. What happened? Well, go oh, ahead, sis. sis. Niggas disrespectful. Anyway, I said all of that to say me being fat and what I would consider not the highest level of attractiveness has never stopped me from participating with women who some will consider completely out of my league, which always I... made me know this. No right. doubt. What I think of the hang-ups are yes. not hang-ups at not all. The hang-ups. I have greatly overachieved when it comes to my looks <laughs> and my bank account and when it comes to bagging bitches. I've overachieved. Talk, no doubt about it. No I, I, I've, I've Austin Reeves did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, Shout out to him, Billy. Oh. Like, I'm not the strongest, fastest, tallest, coolest. It's just somehow I get the job done, man. Nigga like me pulled up for three no on bullshit. many of games. Like, no bullshit. <laughs> like, no like, nobody could convince me in my whole life. I swear to God, I'm not joking when I say this. Nobody could convince me that my looks are equal to what I have achieved when it comes to bagging bitches in my life. They're not even close. They're not. They're not. They're not even close. My looks. I, know I got some home runs under my belt, boy. Some shit that are going in the nigga yes. record book. I'm saying like some, <laughs> like how we wanted to come up being rappers and shit. I done had a like like a night of a rapper and shit before more than once. Ooh, I'm yeah. like, you got to be somebody to pull off these kind of nights. Boy, you feel what I'm saying? Man. And like I said, it's not my looks, bro. It's this not. is why them incel niggas is mad. Look how nonchalantly we talk about experiences that they would pay $500 or rip a fucking head off a dollar bitch to get. <laughs> and we talking about it so nonchalantly. Yeah, and bro. if we're being honest, we're downplaying it as to not bro, sound. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about the shit. I, I don't even want to. Do, you know I'm downplaying it, my nigga. I could be on some like, nigga, right now, I got a motherfucker. <laughs> Stop playing, bro. <laughs> Stop playing, bro. I don't even want to do it. But I'm not even pushing. That's how for real it is. I can legitimately explain what I got going on right now. So that goes back to the point of them incel niggas is so... Being what we're nonchalantly saying we are is so far from them. It's the same length that they think they are from a woman. And yes. only, only in our, only with us are they wrong. They way closer to getting a woman yes. than you are to being uh, right. It, it's <laughs> as, yes, it's as simple though as like the the same thing we always say about this. It's the forty year old virgin putting the pussy on a pedestal, y'all. Mm-hmm. That's like they, that's why they don't get it. They put it out of their reach and then complain that they can't reach it. Yes, like because we're told that like women won't just fuck any guy. They will. <laughs> Like, they will fuck a loser. They will fuck somebody that's unattractive. They will fuck, they will fuck somebody that they don't know. They will fuck somebody that they knew they wasn't going to call back before they fucked them. They'll do it all. Just like a man would do it all. <laughs> exactly. A woman would do it all. Exactly. you think doing it all with? <laughs> exactly. That is a huge misconception that we are far apart when it comes to sex. And we're not, bro. But, but hey, I'm going to tell Everything you why. Everything a nigga would do, a bitch would do. But that's the pay- that's the picture that's being painted of women. I don't know if they o- if they uh authorize this painting of this picture, but this is the picture that is painted of women, and it's why they always have that image to fight against. But that like, fake image is what gives them their value. Yes. So do I give up my value and 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 fix this fake image? Or do I, you know, keep my value and just let the fake image do what it do? But the fake image is what cause you sadness. But the fake image is how you get all the shit that you get. Ah, man, look at the web. Yeah. Look at the web. Because that web. fake image is, we've said this before, that fake image is why uh, pussy costs money and dick is free. Ooh, man, where's the buttons in here, man? Where's yeah, I got a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I be doing that shit when I be streaming. I'll make a three or a nigga will miss or something, then I'll do that shit. Joe, what's up, baby? Go make up yourself. Bro, we not talking about sports no more. We talking about these bitches now, man. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Joe, you ever heard of an incel? <laughs> you ever heard of an incel? 
Yeah, you ever heard of incel? Nah. All right, let me get the definition for you so you know what it bruh, is. Bro, you're not going to believe this shit, bro. I've heard of an Yo, imbecile, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, me too. They, they one and the same. You're not going to believe this, bro. Yo, it's like a hate group. Listen. An incel is a member of an online subculture of people who define themselves as unable to get a romantic or sexual partner despite desiring one. Interesting. So... Niggas it's, who can't get bitches getting a group together and, and hate talk them and talk about killing them. And talk about killing them and shit, bro. And it's so <laughs> big and so much of them that they have their own cult name now. You know how like uh MAGA and all them people have yeah. their own cult? Incel stands for involuntarily celibate. Oh shit. <laughs> That's deep. It's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. So I was talking about them. And that's what I've been talking about here recently, man. And I think these guys are interesting. Joe, let me ask you a question. Would you say that there was a time in your life that you didn't feel like you could get women? That was that was to me. You asking me that? Yes, yeah. you, your personal. Story. Oh, nah, I always. <laughs> <laughs> from young, man. From from young, like you know, I was. You got to remember too, for me. Um, I was raised mostly by a single mother and I was around, you know, her friends and stuff like that. And, I, and from young, I already knew because she has some attractive women of her age. And I was like, oh, she, you know, so I've always, and you know, they would talk good about me. And man, from young, I had like girlfriends and shit, you know what I'm saying? So I never like had an issue with girls, to be honest, from the single digits, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but that's my thing. You knew what he was going to say. You... milk in my sippy cup, nigga. <laughs> I knew that was going to be his answer. Yeah, I never. You know what I'm saying? Long. It's everyone's answer to me that's like a normal human being, bro. We need to get an incel. It's just so <laughs> crazy, bro, that it's so many people out there that for real can't bag no no shorty, bro. It's too easy, man. Like It's too easy, you, bro. I think people are just too particular. You... you know, you can't really be particular about it. Like that's that. exactly what I was saying. You can't have high standards if you're unable to bag bitches, bro. No. But you what can't. are your standards then? You, you you only want the fucking IG models? Like, you, you don't want... That's what I think they do, bro. But talk, there's a lot of women who ain't IG models who, to me, Not even look just... way better than the IG models that are way more accessible. They crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it could be even every day. Um, I think a lot of people, too, a lot of people are just awkward in that way to where it's not natural yes. for them to be around. That's what it is. Conversate with a woman. That's what it is. Communicate with Why, though? How does that happen? Like, how do you, how does it's that happen, though? That shit got to come from trauma of their parents or something, man. You got trauma like, with your parents ever... that make it to where you can't talk to a girl? you just awkward. Nobody ever taught me, like, how to talk to bitches yeah, or nothing. Speak naturally, man. I mean, for me, it did. And even, but yeah. that's what it is. It's trial and error. But see, like, hype sway, like, me and Hype have two different approaches. Like, I would... Completely yeah, different. Yeah, like, he can go out. I could get... I'm more of a get-to-know-you, like, through conversation type shit. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is on the third. Where Hype could just go out and be like, stick his fishing line out there and pull something in. So it's a little bit... It's all yeah. about the approach, too. You know, and I feel yeah. like some people just haven't really found their approach. Because there'd be some... Well, what if... Go ahead. You just said two different approaches. Have you ever tried to try the hypes, throw out your yeah, real approach to see me. if... Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's not... But did it work? Uh, I would say it's it, more often than... Because it's not... It don't feel... I. It can work, but it's not comfortable. Like, it's not comfortable for me. It's different. That makes sense. Well, but there's a the lot of ways that, that, that ain't comfortable for me either. Yeah. But a lot of the ways. reason why I say that is because how you made it sound is... Hype goes quicker, and you like to take your time. Because you didn't accurate. say he did anything special. You just said he just goes out there and throws his line out, whereas you try to get to know more, him. Yeah, more for me is more opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Like, what opportunity is more comfortable for me? You know what I'm saying? Versus, like, I, so I, would, woman... like, I would, like, go somewhere, like, like I'll go to Hawkers or some shit. You know, I'm straight familiar, and some a lady might sit next to me, and we find common ground, and I could talk. Like that, but I, I can't just go out there on like a dating app or go out there and just random check at the gas station or some shit. It has to be. Okay, so you kind of answer what I was going to ask. Yeah, it has to be a situation I was gonna where ask. I have to talk to you in, in a way, kind of, and then we could spark from there. See, that's the easy route. So, of course, yeah, the that's easy the route, easy route. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. But, that's but the, again, that's no that risk, works. high reward route. Yes, but again, it's a it's a low risk. Uh, high reward. reward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Low risk, high reward. Yeah. Either I get a date it's, or I get a friend. Yeah. <laughs> Not even yeah. trying to be funny. Yeah. It's an easy transition from incel to that. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> but it's the best transition. Like, just be a normal person. Yeah. And that's what Joe really was. takes. Yeah, just be a normal person. And like, like you said, you might meet a friend. You might meet somebody that you're interested in. You know, because you know how I am. I'm just completely different. I know I don't want to be your friend. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm even like that with dudes. I know I don't want to be your friend, bro. Right. So there's certain stuff that we're not going to do. Not We're not going to talk about certain information we're not going to exchange. Yeah. You know, and it's like, I already have friends. See, I feel like Hype's way is safer than Joe's because, Joe, you can, like, be invested in a person and then realize yeah. this person ain't good for you in any way, shape, or form. But you didn't know that until after you didn't put yourself in a position. Well, I mean, I agree with it, that. You, how do you know to invest, though, before... You even spark conversation. So, I mean, that's what we we're talking about. Can you spark a conversation with a young lady or whoever? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, for... Okay, one more question, Joe. So, uh, uh, in your times back in the day, long time ago, long, long... Ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got going up there. Like. <laughs> uh, would oh, God. You, so, would you see somebody you like <laughs> and approach them? Or would you, like, wait for the right time to speak to them, like whether they ask you a question or if they come in your vicinity, like, or do you actually take the step to go say something? And this is the difference between if- me and Hype right here, because, like, even for me, I know I've passed up a woman that probably was, like, giving me the eye or whatever, but just because, like, how do, what do I fucking say? You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'll go talk to yeah, you. Yeah, like, so it's like, yeah. uh, for me, it's it's a little different. You know, I was, is it, like, would you say it's like shyness? Like what? Yeah, what, what sure, is stopping you sure. from going to say, "Hey, man, I see you watching me over here, young lady. You like what you see?" <laughs> yeah, it is shyness, definitely. Definitely. This is what I tell anybody who want to break that in real life mm. is that, and I do this all the time. This is one of my favorites: is you compliment a woman and then go on about your day. Oh, I've I've heard that before. A lot. Yeah, I've heard that plenty of times. Absolutely. I didn't. I didn't did a roll down your window. Hey, um, I saw you go in and come out. I just wanted to let you know you are beautiful. Oh, I knew a follow you. All right, you have a great one. <laughs> like, hey, and you're right. I <laughs> because cause I, I said it to somebody one day, and she said, thank you. And then she was walking behind me, and before she got out of her car, she said, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, tell me I couldn't have turned back around and be like, what's happening with you? What's happening, but, boo? Now, for real, you say that something like that to a woman and you never try to bag her? Right, that's what Bro, she don't know. Saying. She'll think about that shit three weeks later. She'll be like, why the fuck did he say that? Like, he must have for real just thought I was bad. I believe that too many people enter it with expectations you can't. You know, because you you might end up Facts. being disappointed. Yeah. So if you're yeah. going to just talk but, to somebody, so, just talk to them. You know, yeah, like but I love like, women enough that I like to do stuff like that. Just tell and, someone that they're yeah, beautiful. Absolutely. That's I beautiful. Do that. I don't hype. need to try to bag you. So. Yeah, I do what hype just explained all the time, but it's because I have no ulterior motives. Like, I genuinely think you look good, and it's not one of those. You know how one of those situations with certain women, you just know they've been told they look good a lot. Yes. So at this point, it's annoying. Yes, I don't do it to them. Right. Same. And if I do, I do it in the most unique yeah. way. I do it in, in the passing. That I'm in. I always you know do it in passing. Because like passing said, is just dope because you, I, I let it be known from jump. I'm not even going to, you'll never have to think, is this nigga finna try to talk to yeah, me? Yeah, I'm not waiting Because I'm going to be gone so quick. Yeah, because I'm really not trying to holler at you. I just think women are that amazing. Dog, I be with my daughter and we do it together. So that's how I know it's not malicious. Like my daughter would literally like look at a woman and be like, look at her boobies. And I look, I was like, oh. <laughs> and then right. we'd both walk. No, no, no it's, it's ridiculous. But right. well, we'll both walk past and I'll be like, hey, you look very nice today, ma'am. And then Adri be like, yeah, you look very nice today. And then she, the, the two of us doing it and it usually always gives them a, a double take and then fucking cheese smile will go on their face. And then me and my daughter just keep on going down the road. But the good. point of that is what Hype said, and it's the same what I'm saying with Joe, Something as simple as that is a seed that you planted that you didn't even mean to, yeah. that you can go back and get flour from. Right. Yes, <laughs> bro, you can. Yeah, bro. You can because next time, all you got to do is add one more thing to that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Hey, you look beautiful the today. Lady I saw like a week or so ago in here. You know, you are that same lady because I remember how good you looked then and you look the same kind of good today. Yeah. So that's what made me remember that. But 
Bro, so, don't bring up the same lady. That's what's wrong with incels now. They get stuck on one woman. Yeah. They can't have her. Yeah. <laughs> we talking about the next time you talking to a different, a I'm different one. Don't get stuck getting, on her incels. I'm talking about getting fruit from that seed you planted. Sometimes too, man. I'm with you. I'm people just don't like, know how to let their swag talk. You know what I'm saying? Just, just be you. Yeah. And people will automatically, you know, gravitate towards that if they fuck with you or not. You know what I'm saying? See, Hype was just saying this a second ago, Joe. He was basically talking about how he was humbling himself and saying he know he's not as attractive at what he's accomplished. Right, but he has right? swag though. He has like a personality. But, but that swag is mixed with a level of humility to where other motherfuckers might think they actually don't look good and then don't attempt to talk to somebody yeah, because they the done confidence. told themselves they're not worth Yeah, you just got to be confident and know that everything is not necessarily for you. But just like I was saying before, you got to be willing yes. to stick your, your pole out there to see what bite. Everything ain't going to bite, but something will bite. What kind of pole are you bite. talking about, Joe? Your fishing pole, nigga. Oh, okay. <laughs> that nigga walk in the room. Hey, any bitches in here want some? God damn it. Yeah, man. You just got to be willing oh, to get man. out there. But just some people are just different and awkward like that. You know what I mean? And so, Joe, if you had something to say to an incel, if they was listening to us right now, what would you say to an incel? And remember, an incel is somebody who's <laughs> mad and angry at women because they too scared to try to get them. Huh, what's something I would say? Um, <laughs> hey, think about it too. I'm coming to you. Say next. good luck. Hang in there. <laughs> hey, <good> luck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I mean, if you if you've gotten to the point where you feel like you have to label yourself as that. It's bad. Like, for real, bro. It's and bad. that is part of the wackness. Yeah, Sorry, don't mean to cut you off and ask you a question, you're good, you're good. but yeah, that is part of the wackness. You got some yeah, when man. you label yourself something yeah, so whack, man. you then feel like you got to live up to it. So them niggas are going like, yeah, I saw this girl at Starbucks, and I offered to buy her coffee, and she's like, no, I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> fucking bitch. Hey, if she only knew hey, what I was thinking, hey, I would real, walk the class like, oh, real, real, real. Like, and you buy a young lady a coffee, you'd be like, oh, I'm going to pay for that. I, that. That one is on me. Little shit like that would be like, she'll come follow me and be like, hey, what's, you know, what was that for? And I think I hyped that. What you got to say, yo? Man, it's too well, easy like, to you, talk to you, women, man. It's just too easy, bro. It really is. Find find your niche. That's what I would tell them. Find what works for you. There you go. Mm. You was uh telling the story or whatever, right? He said, I see this girl at Starbucks and I asked her to buy a coffee and she was like, no, no, thank you. I'm fine. Like, in real life, it was just like, no, thank you. I appreciate I you. <laughs> you put a little sauce that on nigga, it. That nigga telling the story. Like, that nigga took like, his finger <laughs> in the chicken room, yo. I'm putting a little sauce She was like, yo, All you right, know pussy getting inset a bitch. I don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> like, she did not say that. But yeah, man. Anyway, appreciate man. Appreciate you, Joe. Give Joe. thanks. Appreciate you, Joe, man. Keep it real out there, man. Yeah. Hey, when we talk sports next time, we got to have you on for real, though. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I had to just come in and see what's good, you know what I'm saying? What's hey, we just got show? this new setup, and we just think it looked dope. It is dope. And I like how I feel like I'm an actual guest on this bitch. Exactly, are, bro. Man. Come it's on. like Undisputed, man. Tune into the Black Freckle Sports Show. Take it easy, Joe. Awesome. Take it easy, Joe. Bro, Shout we can do Indians, so man. many uh we can do so many features like this okay, and talk so about some gangsters. When shit. I was hitting you up and I was telling you about like the calling people and shit, this yeah. is exactly what I meant. See how yeah. the niggas just pop in real quick, you do yeah. that shit real quick. You can Easy. literally like if we post this on Facebook or some shit, there would be so many people up in this bitch. That would be we dope. We can set certain days that we can do and this how motherfuckers call in. Yeah. Or just yeah. click the link. If you click the link, it brings you straight to the room. Yeah, but motherfuckers yeah, don't know you that. Post the link. Yes, I do. That's how they niggas got in here. <laughs> all I did was post the link. So, you're in, so I don't know what happens when you. Yeah, all I, I said, uh, I said we talking about sports, and I posted the link. If you click the link, it brings you straight in here. It might tell you to download the app, but it brings you straight in here. Like this shit right here, worth money. This shit hard. I'm putting that on especially on for a sports right show. Alright, right, but yeah, especially for a sports show, like that shit hard. I'm going to definitely start using this bitch because I can get anybody to talk some sports with me. Agreed. You know. Huh. Yeah. That should be dope. And then, like I said, even if I just kept my side, but I probably wouldn't. I'd do it like Undisputed and just have both of them on there and just have different guests every day like Stephen A. Smith, man. <laughs> because honestly, you can edit this so fast, bro. It's 
Especially you know what I'm that, saying? Just that quick. That one edit app shit. That motherfucker just yeah, that shit was so hard. Shit. Yeah, I need to get into all that AI type of shit, man. I was supposed to be doing it this week, but, you know, fractions and distractions in my life, man. That I don't got nobody to blame but myself. You feel well, me? Shit, you did post that shit over here. Yeah, I told you. All them niggas did was click the link. No, but the niggas who came in was in the in the chat group, so I thought it was only people in the chat group. Nah, whoever clicked the link. <laughs> whoever, that's how I got in there. I, that's how I know what, the, what it do, because I went on my phone when I sent it to you, because I want to see what it looked like. All right, since we was talking about women and incels, your final thoughts on the incels. Come on, give it to us. I can't believe it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I end how I begin. Like, <laughs> I can't like, believe it. Shit. As much as I be- I can't believe it, I believe it, bro. But it's like it's unbelievable, it, bro. It's, it's unbelievable, it, it, man. It's 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 unbelievable until it becomes believable, and then it's believable. Yes, it's very you know? believable. Because it's like, but like you said, you mentioned earlier, our we had you know, however we accumulated this knowledge, we have knowledge of things that shapes how we view people. It's the same reason why we talk about women and some people get upset about it. And it's because y'all are listening from a position that is like, you're not as informed as we are over here. Yes, So it sounds ridiculous to you. Like, we could go in that incel room and say, man, y'all know all y'all can fuck a bitch tonight if you wanted to. (laughs) Niggas would be like, get out of here. (laughs) Who sent you? Was it that Starbucks bitch that she sent you in a fucking torment? That nigga sound like the finance gurus on TikTok. Did you know you can quit your nine to five today? <laughs> Lincoln profile, goddamn it. <laughs> but for real, bro, and it's for the real. truth, bro. Like you can fuck a bitch today, bro. <laughs> hey, how about we do one of them commercials? Them Indians. Uh, you ever been wanting to fuck a bitch? Incense. You can fuck a bitch today. Do you suffer from incel syndrome? <laughs> you wish you was fucking them hoes? <laughs> Bro, like, if, 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 like, getting money was as easy as getting pussy, I would be rich. Rich. Like, no bullshit. Like, I'm I don't, rich, like, I don't turn down money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't turn down plenty of pussy, though. <laughs> I don't turn I'm down money. This shit. Whatever it is, I'm this. Straight I'm up. Uh, I don't That's turn down money, though. <laughs> no, I don't turn down money. How about right, if we go in there and we like, you know how like uh, the Boys and Girls Club be having like sponsors and shit? How about yeah, if we all we sponsor, sponsor and sponsor and sell? Yeah. I'd like to see that. Hey, and bro, I'm a fly like guy, bro. We're going to have to get on some hoes, bro. We do that shit like a competition. We're going to take that nigga up. Bring some hoes in there to that nigga. That nigga be like, I ain't fucking these ugly ass bitches. <laughs> like, who you want? Your wife looks kind of good. See, see, that's your problem. That's your problem. I told you, anybody but her, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's who I want. I'm better off just going on my own. Well, of course, that's what you want. But that's all. That's the problem with people, right? You ever heard that phrase? Uh, be careful what you ask for. It's one of those people are scared to get what they want. Bruh. So they make what they want unattainable. The enemy. So they exactly. don't want to get it. Exactly. And that's the norm. That's what most people do. That's, that's what most what people, people do. do. And that's why people are so unhappy. Because yeah. of course you're not going to reach your goal as if your first goal is to fucking play in the NBA finals, but you ain't never played right. high school ball, college right. ball, G League but ball, overseas ball. This the crazy thing, though. It's like we know niggas in real life that don't deserve no pussy that get it. Like niggas, <laughs> we know niggas, we know niggas that don't have nothing to offer no bitches that don't have no game that don't that feel sorry for themselves that have a problem with every bitch they meet. We know niggas that's just like this that don't deserve no pussy to get pussy. Okay. We just keep going back to how easy it is to get, and I don't want to make it sound like women are easy to get because they're just easy. I mean, the act of you and another woman. Engaging in fucking any form of activity yeah, is an yeah, easy, it's an easy thing to make happen. Yeah, no. You know, so yeah, right so out. the fact that right it's out. being put on this unreachable pedestal yes. to the point where these people yes. are potentially harming people, like right your out. your fucking inability to fucking just go talk to a woman is making it to where you're endangering right that motherfucking right woman out. now. 
Bro, I recently worked with crazy. these two white dudes, and both of them had an old lady. And if you asked me, like, hey, do these two dudes right here ever get pussy? I would have been like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I literally saw two dudes, and I was like, you fit the criteria of two dudes that don't never get no pussy. And they both was like, oh, yeah, I got an old lady. Yeah, so I'm just like, like I said, even niggas I see that I feel like I ain't, ain't finna get no pussy or don't deserve no pussy to get pussy. So it's like, I can only imagine where y'all at, bro, in the skill. Like, y'all niggas something else. Anyway, man. Anyway, boy. There was other thing you put in here. What well, else? I, yeah, you put in here. It was uh, last week or so, this video and stuff of Steve Harvey was going around. Mm -hmm. uh, do you recall? Well, the headline was, a woman <laughs> oh, yeah. shouldn't have to bring anything to the table. It's a man's job to take care of the woman, is what uh, Stephen Harvey said. Like, and, um, Steve Harvey a fuck nigga, man, for saying shit like that. <laughs> like, that's a fuck nigga thing to say, bro. Thank you. I like, okay, that sounds better. Saying he a fuck nigga is a bit much, but saying that that's a fuck nigga thing to say is <laughs> fucked on. <laughs> it's a fuck nigga thing to say, bro. It's a fuck like, nigga thing like, to say. Especially if you rich. <laughs> like, it's, a, it's a fuck nigga thing to say, especially if you rich. I, I, like, Steve sound to us like how we sound to the incels, nigga. <laughs> right. Like, it's easy for you, idiots. You bitch me, you but, fucking millionaire. But, but, but no bullshit. That's whack to say because it takes away something from women that they need to have to be able to help keep their man happy. And what that is, is accountability. Mm. Women are often like begged to not take accountability. And in my humble opinion, they rarely ever take accountability and society rarely ever asked them to take accountability. So when people that somebody listens to come out and blatantly say women shouldn't even have to take accountability for like feeding themselves or clothing <laughs> themselves. Like it's one thing if I want to take care of my old lady, but if you say she shouldn't even have, I, I should mm -hmm. be taking care of her. That's a bit of a stretch. Mm -hmm. It's you know what I'm saying? So when, like, when I say it's a, go ahead. Like if I'm a famous rapper and she wrote my rhymes, it's like, okay, I'll take care of you. I should be taking care of you. You wrote the bars. You feel me? But shooting with me if in the you're, gym. yeah, but if, yes, if you wasn't with me shooting in the gym, I don't see why I should be taking care of you. And again, I don't got a problem with it. I just don't see why it's the standard or the rule. It's a very ridiculous and thing to put on a man. That's why I have a problem with it. My problem yeah. with it is it muddies the waters for everybody else. So now the, the, the people that that might be fitting for aren't getting the message because everybody getting the message and that message ain't for everybody. Yeah, it's a ridiculous thing. It's a ridiculous thing. Like certain people, I'm sorry, you have to fucking pull your own weight. <laughs> I apologize. You don't fit the bill that he talking about. And the problem right. with women's sentiments is the sentiment is never subjective. It's always this is for all women. And yes. then you got motherfuckers who clearly this ain't for demanding it. And you just muddy Agreed. the waters, Stephen. Agreed. I don't like stuff like that. It's too much like of a it. blanket statement. And when people make blanket statements that are saying what a man needs to do, it's just so highly accepted. Yep. You know? Because but if you say something what women need to do, it's going to get shitted on. No matter what it is. No matter If you what. say a woman needs to take care of her kids, that's problematic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't make these motherfuckers on my own. So he just yes. gets to chill. And, hey, I didn't no say none of that. None of that. <laughs> I none simply of that. said, none of that. you need to take <laughs> yep. care of your kids. Because I always say, we always are like, so boom, boom, boom for single mothers. I said, but nobody ever, ever, ever says, hey, when are women going to start taking accountability for who they had kids with? No one <laughs> ever <laughs> says that. And when you do, you get in trouble. But you hear deadbeat dads and niggas ain't shit all the time when it comes to kids. But you like, never yeah. hear nobody say, hey, man, when y'all going to take accountability for who the fuck y'all keep having kids with? It's just so much accountability that if, like, a mother becomes, like, a crack whore or something, if she can show that she no longer does crack, they'll give her her kids back type of situation. It's like, hey, you can ruin your life, the kid's life, and everyone's yes. life. But if you just show me that you still love those no kids. Doubt. No I'll let doubt. you have them. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> guess what? Guess this is, uh, let's listen to this statistic I heard recently, okay? Well, you've missed the stat, man. <sighs> missed the stat, okay. man. Households that are um, like single mother households, right? Mm -hmm. That kid, if it's a girl, is more likely to be a single mother, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, they're way less likely to go to jail or prison. 
and they're way less likely to be, I mean, more likely to be financially irresponsible than in like a two parent household. Wait, you said okay. they are more likely to go to prison or more less more likely, likely more likely to go to prison? Oh, I'm sorry, more likely to go to prison. When you said she's a single mom and shit, it's like that's more, usually associated more, with some type of yeah, more like, likely to also be a single mom or whatever, and uh, more likely to um, be financially irresponsible, okay, mm. than in uh two parent households, okay? Mm -hmm. But the statistics for single father households are almost identical to two parent households. Mm. That says to me that one parent pulls more weight, but the other parent gets more credit. I don't want to do it, bro. <laughs> because, man, listen, <laughs> man, I'm going to keep it. it fucking tall as Chris Paul. <laughs> I right? don't want to do it, bro. <laughs> Is the, the man... Is the parent. And I feel like for the most... Okay, fuck that. I'm not doing the in most situation. I don't... Fuck that. Think what you won't think. The man <laughs> is the true parent. And it's because a lot of times it's just in a woman's nature to try to please. And they can always justify doing something for their kids. It's the number one justification of why women do some of the things they do. You've seen Set It Off where Ronnie is getting fucked <laughs> because she got to help get the money for her kids. So it's like... I'm, I, I, just I, don't I, don't it, I just said I don't care. I just said I don't care. I don't even want to say it. Fuck, man. I don't even want to say it, bro. Fuck it. Let me keep ice on a man is the better parent, right? And it's because they don't <laughs> need to be liked, man. The mom wants to be the child's friend most of the time. So they do things that is less parently. <laughs> whereas, and more friendly. Whereas the father, he's aware that, hey, I got to deal with any issue that arises. So to protect myself and my kid, we're going to remove certain instances from even in your lap. So it's the same reason why you see uh, two-parent households have kids that are less problematic because they have that balance of love and accountability and all these different things. Whereas how much times you've always heard, man, my mom was working hard two jobs to take care of us so no one was home and I ran the streets. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So again, most of the time with the father, if it's the single father, you come in to work with me or you at home doing these things that need to be done by the time I get home. And then the respect level of, I ain't gonna fuck around with this nigga, so I'm gonna get this shit done. You know what I'm saying? Whereas the mom... Look, sorry, man. I, I'm not even... Shit. I don't even want to explain it because I, I can't do the explanation justice. Yeah, you can. I, I tried, but, but I, I got caught up. But... I didn't fact check the statistics, but I believe them. That's how I explain it. I didn't fact check the statistics, but I believe. But I believe. You know, that's I believe the them. simple I way the that I can explain what you just said. But I said that all because, like, I'm a parent. We have a two parent household here, man, and I know how shit go here. I know who makes the moving and the shaking go here, but I also know who is the glue here. You dig what I'm saying? So I never, I'm not going to take the credit away from my lady for what she does and how she holds the shit down, but it's pretty easy to hold down when I make the shit run so motherfucking smoothly. <laughs> That's why you're not allowed to explain stuff no more, bro. You certain, things, certain things are personal in the sense of anybody can have a, a, a opinion about it, but if I'm giving you a personal account of it, my shit should weigh just a bit more than your hypothetical situations. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's yeah. all I'm saying. I ain't yeah. saying that both parents aren't necessary or needed, but if you're going to lose one, you'll be better off losing the mom. I don't want to say it, bro. <laughs> I don't want to say it. it. I know what it sound like, and I know what it sound like from a man. I know what it sound like from me and a father. All that. I know what it sound like, but that shit is real. And even though you ain't do the fact checkings, just the sheer... I know it's right. That's, that's, that's what I'm I saying. So, right. I know it's right. It's one of those instances where it don't sound right, but it is right. So what I know we gonna it's just right. we just gonna deal with how it sounds and not live in the reality of what it actually yes. is. Like and this I, is not I, I don't even want to good mothers. Yeah, I you know you with your old lady and y'all got a kid, so I ain't with my baby mom, so I don't like to talk about nothing that got to do with my baby mom unless it's one hundred percent positive. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But <laughs> but. <laughs> I I will definitely say like um there's things that I've had to like fight for 
like start an argument for that was over some shit that team. like no doubt. And it's like undeniable, but it's not me being crazy, me best. You know what I'm saying? Shit, Just, like, yo, why you ain't let her brush her teeth for a week and a half? Like, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, dog? I mean, she you said know, it like, hurts and she did like, yeah. I don't you know, give a shit. But like the other day, you know, my daughter, my daughter had an uh, an, inf- an ear infection and shit because it's allergy season and all this shit, right? So she got medicine that she need to take to get rid of the infection. And of course, just like with anybody, not even just a kid, but anybody, nobody likes to take fucking medicine. So it's this big old ordeal. And then my lady is like, you know, with medicine, you got to take them shits at the same time for them to be effective. So if you take it at five today, you got to take it at five tomorrow. So of it's course. like. And she over there negotiating, like, well, can I go do this and do this? And I'm like, and I come out of the room, I'm like, yo, hey, everybody cut the fucking shit. You sit down, take this shit now, and when you finish, you can go do whatever it is you want to do. She looked up at me, yes. took the medicine, jammed it in her mouth, drank it, and then she said, it's like, yeah, I did it. I was like, yes, you did it. Now go do whatever it is you wanted to do. That's the explanation that you should have gave. It don't have <laughs> nothing. It don't have nothing to do with saying, "Oh, she's a bad mom," or "She's I'm so much smarter," and I'm this. It's just stuff like that. Like it's really the guy, the man's job to to eliminate the fluff that a mother will allow a child to have just out of the love that she has for the child. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love you, so I'm going to take the time to explain it, and I'm going to negotiate with you, and I'm going to... And But you be sitting there negotiating, then you get mad at the kid and shit. It's like, <laughs> exactly. you just, I'm like, you just tell the kid what to do. Like, it, this kid only is going to listen to you for so long. Like, eventually, this kid is going to think, hell, when I was 10 years old, I didn't have to listen to you. So when they're 25, and they're already used to you negotiating with them they're gonna be like man i'm not listening to you like there's a lot of people that they be 40 or 50 before they realize that they don't have to listen to their parents to me the sooner that you learn that (laughs) as a kid (laughs) no bullshit you hear people all the time that'll do something a certain way or they'll be arguing with or their parents can still hurt their feelings and shit like when they was a kid and shit i'm like why are you even still listening to this person you feel what i'm saying but i say all that to say this kid is only going to listen to you for so long. Don't negotiate with them. Just do what's best for them and let's move on. But see, I agree with you while still negotiates with my daughter. There's instances in things that don't matter that we can have a discussion about. Like, you know, I was like the other night it was she, her bedtime is eight o'clock, eight thirty. Right. I don't think she's ever went to sleep at eight o'clock or eight thirty. Right. Right. Of course. But, those are negotiable. We can talk about like, hey, that. I want to stay up and finish watching this. Absolutely. But like a one and done. done. Like you got to take some medicine. That's a one and done. You know what I'm yes. saying? Like, and it's a must. Hey, so what hey, are we talking uh, about? We got to leave an hour earlier than we, do, than we usually do tomorrow. When I come and tell you to get up, you know you need to get up right now because I've already told you this is a different situation. You feel what I'm saying? Like, those are the ones that are not negotiable. Everything else is negotiable. Like, hey, I don't feel like eating this. All right, cool, I don't care. Like, I've been telling my daughter since she was a kid, hey, you know what what I'm cool with, what I'm not cool with. So with that being said, you can do whatever you want. Exactly, because then now, if 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 I make you do the things that I want all the time, if you're not going to understand how to make a proper decision. You're only going to understand how to follow orders. And I don't yes. want you to be that. I want no you to be a person who understands why you're doing yep. what you're doing. But yep. there's some non-negotiables that it's like, we're not going to go back and forth with this. So that's what no. I'm saying. I don't always come out the room and tell everybody, shut the fuck up and no, do this. No, of course but not. These are non-negotiables. Like, you are taking it. You have to take it now. Right. So what are we doing here, man? Right. Right. And I'm yeah. hearing them in there, and she's just talking right. to her and bringing up right. all. And I'm like, dog, shut this shit down. Right. Right. We're talking That's to a kid. Point. And I hate <laughs> to be that person. No, I hate to that. be that person. I feel like you're negotiating to... with the six year old, my dog. I was like, how many other. I said, like, you want her to be a friend. She's like, yeah. I was like, how many other six year old friends you got? Yeah, huh? <laughs> I'd be willing to dial it back. We're talking to my daughter about so much shit. Like, I was talking to her recently, and I was just asking her something. I was like, so, I mean, what do you think? She was like, I don't know. I'm a kid. I was like, <laughs> I, was like, I, was like I was like, man, maybe I'm overdoing it with this shit I'll be talking to you about. But I was telling her all kind of, I mean, I'll be telling her all kind of shit. I'm like, man, when it comes to stuff in life, you don't know so much. You know, I was like, you, um, I was like, no matter what relationship you have, you always think, like, I don't know if I'm doing a good job. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I said, because you always understand things like sometimes there's stuff that people just want to never tell you because Mm -hmm. they don't want to hurt your feelings or they don't feel comfortable enough to tell you or any of that. You know what I'm saying? I said, so I was like, tell her, I was like, so that even goes for you. I was like, I ask you and everything. I said, but at the end of the day, 
I'm not 100% sure that I'm doing a good job. You feel what I'm saying? I was like, I hope I am. I was like, you understand the basics. Like, hey, I'll do anything for you. <laughs> but I don't know if that constitutes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if that's a good job. Like, I knew I was doing a good job when, like, I lived in the same city as her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, I, I carry some some guilt for that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. See, like, like me, like, I knew I was doing a good job when I decided I have to. Oh, yeah, you definitely have to. Yeah, they, yeah, but there's some motherfuckers sure. who don't think they have to, and they leave the good job up to the other parent in most instances. Yeah. And yeah. there's going to be times where the other parent ain't going to be able to carry that weight. But if you set yeah. up yourself all the time to lean on that motherfucker, they ain't going to tell you that they can't carry the weight now because it's just going to sound like complaining. So oh, of course. We yeah. have this shit in this house where it's like, me and my, me and my lady, we parent our daughter pretty damn well, right? From her, like she always says, she appreciates us as parents and shit. Because those are. <laughs> <laughs> I got a voice member on two that says differently. To me, that's still good parenting because yeah, me too. she wants to express that. Like that. Like and we're not that. gonna focus on shit that don't matter, yo. Thank like you. I, I've been telling you this since your little girl was born. I'm not gonna bother you about not doing something as a kid that I don't care if you're gonna do when you're an adult. As far as like exactly. talking or doing this or doing this or doing that, like there's adult shit that I don't want you to get into, like shit that got to do with boys and shit like that. But as far as like how you carry yourself or your behavior, if I would be cool with it when you grown, I might as well be cool with it now. He was just talking about you. You about to go to sleep? How do you feel about your parents? They are really kind, really nice, and really sweet. Why that sounds re- uh, re- you believe me. I do believe it. Nah, she's trying to convince you, bro. I know. <laughs> Y'all force her to say that. I believe in you every day. But I just did too, and I want to keep it with me. I love you. All right, good night. I- I heard your skin glowing, looking on point around here, bro. Oh, baby, that's water right there. Baby, my daughter, drink that water. No, bro, it's about wanted... time to wrap, bro. we're about to get out of here. But what I wanted to... I forgot what I wanted to say. How you was the realest person. Oh, no, right, well, I do remember. Uh, there was Because you was just talking about um, you don't know if you're doing a good job because you don't know the shit that you don't know. I was listening to the CIA dude talk about how everybody lives three different lives. You mm-hmm. live your public life, which is the life oh, everybody yeah, knows. Yeah. About yeah. you, that's your the one you talk to. Your private life and your secret life. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's that's like, true. secret life is the shit that nobody knows about, and the people that you do know about it, you have like a forever bond with them. Yeah, because and they they're in your personal life too, or whatever. Exactly. He said so, that come. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was interesting. That shit was dope. I appreciate that. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I definitely know that's me. I mean, I'm so talking it, three minimum. I'm a self. <laughs> that nigga got three different lives, three different personalities for the for lives. Real. Everything. Three lives, wives, knives. Wives. Knives. Shit, surprise, yeah. well, goddamn. My bro. boy, man. Shout out to the Raw Hype. Shout out to the Raw Hypers again, man. If you listen this far, go ahead and uh, comment and rate five, whatever the rules are to make us look good on wherever you man, listen to this at, do with that. boys, man. And uh, I we actually got this set up, set up, so we can I get I fuck with this, man. Time. We, we can start doing shit like this more often. It ain't like it is in person. It ain't the same. You know But it's it definitely a good feeler, and it's completely different. It made me feel like we could talk about different shit like The this. vibe is different. And like I said, yeah, when, we, the vibe when, we in, when we in studio, it's a show. Yeah, to me, like a, a performing, like an entertainment. Like you yeah. know, we over there. This is also this like shit. a conversation. Exactly. But this would be a dope ass way to talk about like um shit that just happened. Exactly. So now we can capitalize. Some crazy shit happened. Hey, you got ten yeah. minutes. Right, give me five minutes. We hop on yeah. real fast and knock it out. You try, if you up, bro, we can do a Lakers recap tonight, man. You know I'm. You know I'm gonna be up, my nigga. I'm watching that shit. That shit ain't gonna finish. The, well, let's do the Lakers recap only if they win. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, no bullshit, right? I fuck with the Lakers so much. Like when they lose, I be upset about it, yo. Like, That's good. I want to hear. When they win, I listen to all the sports shit. When they lose, I don't watch none of them. You crazy, man? Especially when I they lose in like a whack way. Yeah, yeah. And if but they to lose it tonight, out. it'll be in a whack way. That's whack, because they got to yeah. win for it. Just to make themselves and everybody feel good. And the reason I feel like they can win is Warriors tired, man. Them Kings just ran them boys around for seven games, and then the next day after, they got to come and play the Lakers. 
That's crazy. Yeah, but anyway, that's not even people, a crazy thing to say. You I'm right. I'm telling you, they, they gonna be tired. If if they ain't tired, if Lakers don't win this game, I guarantee they win game two. Warriors are going to be too tired because from Sunday to Sunday they would have played what four games, and we would have played two. I might just be ready, man. You see, still running around all day, man. Hey, hey, listen. He ain't the only one on the team, man. But listen, oh, yes, man. shout out to the Raw Hype, man. Shout out to the Patreon. And this is what I'm saying. This allows us to get more uh, Patreon shit done. Oh, hell yeah. We got to get an insight. Because you can do 10-minute shits, bro. That's what I'm saying. You know you what I'm saying? Just something real quick. quick. Yeah. And how my shit set up, I don't move it. My shit always like this. All I got to do, this time my same stream is set up. All I got to do is come in here and hit a button. I'll get my, my shit don't move. Right now I'm using this. I wonder if I can use like my garage. How that would be in the garage. I don't know, man. Figure out something, man. Know. We'll figure it out, man. Raw hypers, we'll fuck with y'all. We appreciate y'all. Appreciate us, man. I know we late with this, but we great with this. Thank Instead, y'all. Might as well, baby. I'm gone. Instead, my press a button. Press a button. Oh shit! Let me hit it. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know how you raw hype, but we raw hype responsibly. Ooh.